Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing this flag waving in the sky thing. Let's get to it. Putting the fusion comp to your timeline, put the playhead on it and open it in fusion page. Pull in the background node, drop the alpha to zero to make it transparent and connect that to the media out so we see it's transparent. Now let's pull in a background node and um, let's make the color like a dark shade of red. Something like that. Let's pull in another background node. Make it a dark shade of green. And let's pull in yet another background node and make that a dark shade of blue. Now we pull in a rectangle mask node. And um, let's pull in a merge node. Connect background 4 to the foreground of merge 1. And let's disconnect that background 1 we've just put, we first pulled in. And connect that to the background of merge 1. Connect the rectangle mask and drag merge one to the viewer. Now for the rectangle mask, we increase the height to one and the width to one divided by three to make it a third of the screen. Or we'll move it to the left, we set the center value to 0 0.167. And yeah, we do the next one. Let's copy rectangle mask one. Paste, and then we pull in the merge node connect that to the foreground and connect background one to the background of merge two and rectangle one that's called one to the mask computer of merge two drag merge two to the viewer then remove this rectangle mask one underscore one to the center which will be 0 0.5 you move on to the next one let's pull in a merge node move this background three up connect it to the foreground of merge three and uh, let's make a copy of the rectangle mask, paste, connect that to the mask computer of merge 3, and connect background 1 to the foreground of merge 3, drag that to the viewer, then we move this rectangle mask to the rightmost part, which will be 1 minus 0 0.167. Enter. We're good to go. Now let's connect all these three together to form a whole. Let's pull in a merge node, connect merge 1, to merge 4, merge 2 to merge 4, then bring in another merge, connect to merge 4 to merge 5, and merge 3 to merge 5, and drag that to the viewer. We've completed our flag. Now we pull in the transform node, just to resize it a little. So we go to size, drop it to, uh, let's say 0 0.85. No, 0 0.8 will be better. That's fine. Let's pull in a displace node. And we drag that to the viewer, put in a fast noise node, drag that to the viewer first, and connect this to the green input of the displace node. Go to color for fast noise node, increase the alpha to 1, then go to noise, uncheck lock XY, and increase the X scale of Y, X to 5.2, contrast to 2.2, and let's drop Y scale to something like 0 0.47. And um, then let's increase the seed a little and um, the seed rate, drop it to 0 0.102. Let's play it. That's exactly what we want. Then we want to do a little thing here. We want it to move from left to right across the screen. So we, we keyframe the center x value, go to the end of the comp and drag that across the screen. So if you play that back now, you see that the the whole fast noise moves across the screen, simulating something like a flag or curtains in this curtains waving in response to wind. Drag this place note to the viewer. You'll see that its effect is already showing. Increase light power to three. Let's increase that value to five. Yeah, that's better. And we go to refresh our strength, increase it a little bit more. I just want to exaggerate so I see the effect and then we play it back. And tada, we have our flag waving in the wind. The next technique we're going to use, pull it an image plane node, connect that transform output to the image plane node, the green input of the image plane node. Then we pull in a displaced 3D node. Let's copy the fast noise and paste it here. 
connect that to the green input of the displaced 3D. Go to noise. Let's drop the contrast for the fast noise that we're going to use for this displaced 3D. And then go to image plane, increase subdivision to 200. And we drag the displays to the viewer. We see the impact is so much. Let's go to this this 3D, yeah, and drop the scale significantly. So it's just a slight bulge. That's fine. And we go and pull in a merge 3D node, pull in a renderer 3D node, and connect that out. Now for this merge 3D node, we pull in a spotlight, connect that to the merge 3D node, and set it to linear decay type. And then let's drag the merge 3D to the viewer. Let's pull that light back a bit. Let's increase the cone angle. And um, uh, let's go to render a 3D, do a few settings, click on it. Change it to open gel renderer, tick light and shadow. And then we see it's pretty garish. Let's go to image plane 3D, go on the materials, go on the specular and drop the intensity such that it's not so shiny. And there we have it. Then we go to and play it. See, this is beautiful. Actually looks like flag waving in the sky. It's just that there's no downward movement, but uh, it is what it is. We just want to simulate something that we can probably use in our graphics, right? So now let's put a transform in here, transform 3D here, and increase the size so it's, at least it fills the screen a little bit. So increase the scale. You see it's a little dark. Let's um, put in an ambient light node. And connect that to merge three D one, and you can increase the intensity a little bit. And there, we, there we go. We have it playing. So these are the three method, two methods I want to talk about for this tutorial for doing the flag waving things. So both of them playing simultaneously. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you learned another two things in this tutorial, and um, do have a nice one. Cheers.